Hey, Kokoro! <laughs> What a bizarre development. What in the world did you do? You managed to find the sign? <clears throat> At this rate, everyone in the whole damn room's gonna get sucked in. This is one precarious position you've picked to place a call. It's attempting to connect to the depths of the other world. If I had to guess, this pelter of power is past my prowess. My current capabilities can't control it. One could consider it like a black hole, drawing in all with a will in their soul. <laughs> Steal yourself as best as you can. The trials ahead could subdue any man. Everyone okay? This kind of reminds me of the first time we got sucked into the other world. Though the shock and fear isn't really there anymore, now that we've gotten used to it. So this is the game. It's a little intimidating how big it is up close. Monumental. In a word. It was always so far away when we saw it in the other world. So the god we've been talking about is behind this thing, right? Ryotaro, that gate won't open for those who aren't worthy. Good evening. <gasps> She's alone. Has she split off from the Dean? What happened to Sora and Yugo? Oh, you're still worried about them? After everything they put all of you through? Shinya, Shinya. <laughs> you're an inspiration to loyal little lapdogs everywhere. Everything they put all of us through? Don't tell me. The 
despicable moment you and Sora did me in. The delightful time I had toying with Chio. I saw it all. Every one of my plans had been foiled. Then it's all your fault. So don't blame me when things go south for you. The fact that you will disappear, one way or another. What exactly are all of you gathered here for? Surely you don't hope to make a wish to that god. Sora! Thank you for worrying about me, Shinya. You're a kind boy. But... I am not Sora Jingu any longer. I've graduated. In a manner of speaking. You've seen the memories, Shinya. You should already know. I am nothing more than the Monarch of Woe, a mere servant to my Pact Bearer. And while it's the first time I've introduced myself as such, I do have a name. Tristia. Huh? We were able to regain the memories preserved in our souls, thanks to your resonance. Memories of this world and its countless iterations. As well as that imposter of mine over there. <coughs> I took the initiative in separating the two of us. She is now under the control of my Pact Bearer. relieved about you really don't understand anything do you this is nothing more than bad ending number five there's no need to mind their words This is simply a matter of drawing the current story to a proper close. You go? Come here, Shinya. You have a role to play as a member of the Jingo family. What role? The role we play for the world. As for him, he must be removed from it entirely. What are you talking about? Cool it. Don't just go running over to him. Mr. Date, would you mind not interrupting a conversation between father and son? Can it, old man? How did you even get here anyway? Only those worthy enough to see the sign should be able to access this place. <sighs> Hugo, what's going on here? <sighs> Hugo, Hugo, Hugo. All this time you've called me by that name. In truth, it is but a pseudonym I adopted in order to live in this country with Sora. It is not my true name. Now that the real Sora is gone, it is merely a name that rings hollow with melancholy. Oh. 
My true name is Hugo Cromwell. It can't be. Your H.C.? The author of the Cromwell Records? Ah, so you're familiar with my work. That simplifies things. If you wrote the Cromwell Records, then you must have taken down all of the Monarchs. Then that means Hugo is worthy too? You have my gratitude. Thanks to your resonance, it has all started to come together. Your power, Anima Kinesis, served as the catalyst through which the restrictions placed upon me were removed. I have recalled my love for my dearly departed Sora. It has steeled my resolve to protect the world and the academy which she so loved, to carry on her will. <clears throat> You are the monarch of vanity, or rather a pale imitation of it. But regardless of the mistakes that resulted in your creation, I am grateful you saved me. No, no. You are but a pale imitation of it. I don't care if he's a monarch, an imitation, or a mistake. I'm not going to let you talk to my brother like this! Even if someone did create him, he's still part of my family! He's still a human being! A human being? And what makes you so sure of that? He is a creation. The powers he uses are an aberration. They are not of this world. Just because someone made him doesn't mean he's less of a person. And the reason he has any powers at all is because he's a pact bearer. Just like you, Mr. Hugo. We are nothing alike. That boy is no pact bearer. <laughs> Allow me to dispel one of your many misconceptions. You have never encountered any mist corresponding to your authority. The same applies to your ideals. It's only to be expected. After all, you've never made a pact. Like Yoru, you are using my ideals as a source of power. Power once possessed by me. Moreover, while Pact Bearers can indeed use authorities, they do not have the power to control fiends. The fact that you can do this is proof that you are not a Pact Bearer, but an imitation of a monarch. You are not a person. You are a cheap replica of the Monarch of Vanity. What are you saying? Mr. Bunny's the monarch of vanity. He's the one who made a pact with him. Hmm. Pride, wrath, envy, lust, greed, sloth, gluttony, woe, vanity. No more than nine monarchs have ever existed. Over 40 years ago, Tristia absorbed the monarch of vanity, hoping to steal the power of Anima Kinesis. With it, she intended to resurrect the real Sora, soul 
and all. But in the end, she was unable to control the authority of a different sin and was forced to abandon her efforts. When Yoru split herself off, the core of the monarch of vanity followed, and so did it end up seeping out, resulting in the incomplete imitation standing before us. In regards to you, Vanitas, as far as I know, there has never been mention of a monarch like you. <laughs> you haven't formed a pact with anyone. There's no way you possibly could. Am I mistaken, unfathomable thing? <laughs> How callous and cruel, calling me a thing. And yet, you are conclusively correct. <laughs> Recall, if you will, how I always spoke back when questioned about your ideals or pact. You're asking for the unfeasible. Your thinking lacks even an inkling. It's really not all that surprising a twist. You can't void or locate what doesn't exist. Case in point. Have I ever manifestly mentioned myself as a monarch? Or been duly designated a demon? Then... it's true? He really isn't a pact bearer? He is simply a monarch in the guise of a human. <laughs> It seems you finally comprehend the truth. He is vanity incarnate, plain at personhood. There is no value, no dignity in his life as a human. Yoru created you after countless failures. You've seen your hollow brethren, haven't you? Only one thing separates you from them. The reason you have an ego and will is because you possess the core of the monarch of vanity. You, Tristia, and Yoru are alike in one respect. You are free to develop an ego and a will. Imitate humans all you like. But you will never be one, no matter how much you look or act the part. Don't make the mistake of believing your own lie. Masquerading as man is a pathetic endeavor. <sighs> Miss Aikawa, Miss Hinata, Miss Surugadai, Mr. Date, Shinya. I can gather the reason you've come here. Your wish is to save him, is it not? And what if it is? If that is indeed the case, then I am here to stop you. If you refuse to understand that there's no value in saving someone that isn't human in the first place, then you should know that the entity waiting ahead is dangerous beyond comprehension. Its power is no different from that of an authority. Rather, the authorities themselves stem from its power. It is extraordinary, supernatural, outside the bounds of rationality. No matter what it is you wish for, 
the world will be affected by its power. Even if you wished away the distortions and mist, another threat would appear to replace them. That is why it has been sealed behind the gate. I urge you all to reconsider. That is all I ask. I have no intention of hurting any of you. Tristia and Yoru will return to the other world as monarchs, and the barrier will be lifted. If Miss Surugadai and Mr. Date will not relinquish their powers, so be it. I will simply keep watch over them. The power of resonance has conveyed unto me the goodness that lies within you all. Do you understand? Were you to disappear, were everyone to abandon the notion of your continued existence, they could all live happily ever after. You are the only thing that stands in their way. You'll surrender yourself, won't you? forgive myself. If you disappeared now, I don't think I could do it again. You have to live. For me and you both. How you were born and what other people say about you doesn't mean shit. You're you. You're the only one who can walk on my level. So keep your head up. Show us what you're made of. If you feel guilty about causing distortions just by being alive, then all you gotta do is make up for it. I will never forgive you if you choose to give up. Who or what you are is of no consequence to me. My happiness is being together with you. I have so much more to learn about you. So please, don't leave us. What a shame. I thought all of you had more sense than this. Shinya, you understand, don't you? <sighs> you go. You have the qualifications to make it here. You could go through the gate if you wanted. What did you end up wishing for? Nothing. I couldn't. Had I revived Sora, the world she loved would have been annihilated. Sora, the real Sora, would never forgive me for that. I realized this right before I was about to utter my wish, and stopped myself. So you made the Monarch of Woe replace Sora, and tried to forget about everything instead? Smart boy. It pains me to say this, but that was my fatal mistake. I succumbed to Woe. It was my fault 
A demented Tristia started pitting students against one another like pieces on a board. The last few decades have been a nightmare, without end or meaning. There are no words to describe my shame. Maybe so. But for a time, I felt like I was living in a dream. If you're going to deny everything about the Yugo I know... Then you aren't him at all! You're just a stranger named Hugo Cromwell! <clears throat> You're special to all of us. So please, don't be like him. Don't deny being the vice president we all know and love. Especially if you care about us as much as we care about you. That's what I learned from you. Lamentable, each and every one of you. Bending to the whims of your egos, bringing distortions upon the world. All of you are truly deranged. You are no more than unsettled, driven to madness by your egos and desires. Unfortunately, it appears I will have to protect the world from the distortions myself. Tristia, Yoru, lend me your power. We must not hold back against them. Show no mercy. humans. Struggle as you may. You won't stand a chance against our unbridled power. I shall purge this world clean of your filthy existence. Bear with me. Your compliance will not be necessary. I refuse to meet a wretched and miserable end alone. You are my child, after all. If I have to go down, then I'll drag you to the depths of hell with me. wouldn't have to end like this if you did not exist. None of those you hold dear would have had to get hurt. You should rue the day you were born. And rue it you shall. And die. Oh. 
reject the emptiness. You don't look so good. You've got this. I'll show you irrational. I can't me. I'll not stand. Let's go, Shinya! By my hand. Witness vanity! <laughs> You're dead! Understood. Understood. Hurry up 
and die. Red Eagle. Human, enter Nerva. Devour them. <laughs> Witness vanity. I'm losing it. Witness vanity.
I won't lose to anyone. <laughs> 